Hi everyone, you're back with Feynman Education on a quick video on how to prove circle theorems. We're going to focus on three simple circle theorems. Firstly, we're going to look at if you have a triangle where one of the lengths is the diameter of the circle, it shows us that this angle here must always be 90 degrees. So let's prove that. If we're to draw a line from the point of that angle straight to the center, this becomes a radius, this is a radius, and this is a radius. And what we actually have are two isosceles triangles. If I call this angle A and call this angle B, as it's an isosceles triangle, this will also be angle A and this will also be angle B. And from our knowledge in triangles, we know that all the angles must add up to 180 degrees. So I know A plus A plus B plus B equals 180 degrees, which means 2a plus 2b equals 180 degrees. I can factorize out the 2, so we get 2a plus b is 180, which means a plus b must equal 90. And as we can see over here, this angle is a plus b. If we were to look at this one, well, we're going to start off by saying that this angle is half of this angle. So what we want to prove is that A is going to be half of B, or B is going to be twice as big as A. So we can use the same concept, and by splitting it down the middle, we have some other uh, isosceles triangles. And now I can say this angle here is F, and this angle here is F. Let's call this angle E, and this angle E. Which means that the middle angle here, this is going to be 180 minus 2F, and this angle here is going to be 180 minus 2e. Well, we know angles in a circle, which is what we have right in the middle, must equal 360. So that means 180 minus 2f plus 180 minus 2e plus b must equal 360. What this gives us is b minus 2f minus 2e equals 0. So b is equal to 2f plus 2e. b is equal to, we can factorize out the 2, so we get f plus e, and we know that a is equal to f plus e. So it shows us the angle at the center is twice as big. And with our last circle theorem, what we're trying to prove is the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral must equal 180. So if this angle is A and this angle is B, together, when we add them together, they must equal 180. So by using the same concepts that we used in the first circle theorem proof, if I connect these points to the center, I immediately know that this angle must equal 2b and this angle must equal 2a. Well, angles in the circle, which is what we have in the middle, equal 360 degrees. So that means 2b plus 2a must equal 360. I can factorize out my 2. So 2b plus a is equal to 360, divide everything by 2, and I get b plus a is equal to 180, which shows us that the opposite angles must equal 180. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and put down any comments if you're unsure about anything that I've explained or would like us to explain any other concepts in more details. 
feel free to follow our channel if you want to watch more videos on, on different subjects, whether it's biology, physics, or chemistry, or business, and get in touch with us if you have any other questions. Have a great day.